Hello everyone, this is Shishi and today I'm coming on to make a pocket folder with the We Are Memory Keepers tab punch board. So this is what it looks like. You can make it in any size you wish. Now you don't need a tab punch board to do this, but this is what I'm making today just to get some additional uses out of this board. So I've cut my paper out at 10 inches wide by 8 inches long and you will need some scissors and a scoring board and I'm using the little Martha Stewart scoring board you can use any score board you want so I'm going to slide my paper in on the 8 inch side to do the tabs so I'm going to start out with punching the little tabs on the side to make the pockets Okay, so I'm going to punch, flip it over, and make these little small punches on the end, I'm going to flip it, and actually I want to turn it this way so that I am doing this correctly. Okay. okay, and then flip it, make the small tabs so that they match on the ends. Okay, so now it matches as you can see. Alright, so now I'm going to do some cutting. So we take our little so tiny. I'm going to put it in this little cutting mechanism and give it a cut. Let me see if I can slide it all the way to the end. See this is where the little tab is right here and I'm just going to put my glue over here. And I'm just going to have some more glue right here. Um, slide it all the way to the end and cut off this part. Okay. So it's just like all the other tools. You just lock it in the little channel and cut all the way to the end. And you do that for both sides. <clears throat> and when you do the other side, you lock that one in, close a little door. And you cut that one as well. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take my board away. We don't need it anymore. I'll just put this back in. And. This is where we'll need the scissors and the scoring board. Okay. So, what you'll need to do is score the little tabs on each side. So, I'm going to take my little scoring tool and just give it a score right here. Okay, and we're going to flip that in like so okay and I'm going to do it again in case you didn't see that we're just going to score right in here and flip that in like so fold that in alright now now that that's folded in now <clears throat> your 
paper should be, let's get a ruler out, and we're just going to fold this in half. So the paper is going to measure, let's get this out, about about eight and a quarter inches. So we're going to have to fold it in half about one and an eighth. So you can start the process by folding it in half and then scoring it down the middle with your bone folder. Just so that it's even. You don't need a scoring board if you don't want to use one. Okay, this is what we have so far. Now you want to fold this up like so. Now if you want to round off the corners, if you don't like the pointed edges, which I'm looking at it now, I think I did round the corner. So I'm going to bring back my tap punch board and round those corners so it does have a corner rounder so I'm going to put this in here right here to round the corners if you want my corners rounded so see it rounds the corners and I'm going to flip it And around the corner right here. Okay. Just to make it nicer. Okay, so I'm going to flip this up about this much. And you can judge how much of a pocket you want. It's personal preference. The male must be coming, the dogs are barking. So I'm just gonna fold that down. And then I can measure it right here with you. But you can make it as big or as small as you want. So that's about two and a quarter, let's say. Okay, for your pockets. All right, so we folded that down. All right, next what you're going to do is unfold that, and we're just going to cut along this line in your creases. All right, and then what you're going to do is cut off a triangle piece just like so like that okay and then to just make sure that it matches I'm going to take this piece and Cut it along the edge. And then I can just cut along that side. All right. And then just to make sure that it's round it here. I'm just going to take my scissors and just round it like that. Okay? And then I'll do the same for the other side. And just round it with my scissors. So 
so we have two rounded edges like that. And you just take the pieces and pull them away. Then it's almost done. You can decorate the cover as you wish. This glue is from the Dollar Tree, and a lot of people ask. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here. Not a lot. And we'll just glue that in. Just like that. And then we'll glue the other um, side. Very simple. And then you just crease that down, crease that down, and then I'll give you the measurements of what the little folder is. You can make your own size. It's like I said, it's about five and a half. Custom folder or flip book or if you want to put it in your... Uh, Planners. Okay, here's the finished pocket folder. I did decorate it. Use, I used the tab punch board to punch it out, as you know. And I used the tattered lace shoe die. I used the fabulous die from the Crafter's Companion. Um, I did a haul about, what, a month ago? And that's where that came from. On the inside, I used some stamps from the ton. I really love that stamp company because it caters to my style that I love shoes and all that um, couture line, help couture. And I put a shoe on the back just to finish it off. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you were inspired to create a pocket folder uh, with the tap punch board. Like I said, you don't really need this board to do this. You could do it on your own without it. Uh, it's just a little bit easier with the towel punch board. So take care everyone. Have a fabulous day.